I don't like who I am. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to do a little topic here on the experience of I don't like who I am. Um, and this was uh, back, you know, when I had started the awakening process, you know, um, the ego was making itself known. The separation started happening from the ego, the, the human concept, the constructs, because it was starting out as... Um, this evolution of, of emptiness. Like every time I had got to a point where I thought I was achieving or accumulating something, it was done. It was broken. It was done. It was empty. And it's hard to really explain it, put it into words, but it was like this emptiness. It was like, why did this even happen? Why is, what is this? What, what does that even mean? Why was that even for? And it was like this em emptiness that happened within me. And it was like this constant, evolutions of that which brought me to the point of full emptiness and it was like this emptiness within myself that happened on this deep inner level where I felt like the light actually went out and then I got to the point where I was like I, I don't like myself and I heard the ego and so as this was happening I literally heard the ego say you know I was reading and it first time I ever heard the ego speak was when and I knew it wasn't me. It was this voice that came in. And I had read this one book. It was called Those Who Saved Us. And it brought me to a deepness and tears. And it was like this question came up within me as I was just sitting there after reading the book. It was like, why would, any, why would that even happen? Why, why would anybody do something like that? Having heard the story. So this, pers this voice came up within myself. And then this other voice answered, and I was observing this, and it was like I was now stepping out. For whatever reason it happened, I was stepping outside, and I was just observing these voices. Like this one would say that, and then the other one would say, it's because I like the story, and that was the ego, because I like the story, right? And I was like, wow. And I was just started going in tears. It was just really interesting to see this evolve, and then that was part of the awakening. And so as I had... The ego was just making itself more known and more known. I was becoming more separate from it. And um, the emptiness that happened, you know, when I had the, I started noticing more and more, I was getting to the end to where I ended up going into the death experience. It was like, you know, I had the um, baby shower and then I was like, well, what was that even for? Like it was empty and then I got married and that was empty. And then it was like, okay, now this and this is empty. And then everything on every level was cleared. It was like flattened. Like everything that I ever thought was, wasn't anymore. It was empty. Everything was empty. Like I didn't even know. And I woke up and I looked over to the person I had married and I was like, I don't even know you. Like, who are you? Right? That was like, I didn't even know who this person was. It was like, this was a different person that I even had in my mind at this point. It was like, I don't even know who you are. Like, who are you? Like, and that is something so profound to wake up next to the person and say, I don't know you. Not to them, but in my mind, I'm like, I don't even know this person. I don't even know myself. Right. So I was in this facade <laughs> of this human construct, this, cons this consumption of what I believed was life. This was the falseness that I was living in, this, this prelade of, you know, you go to work, you have children, you get married, you live this life and blah, 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 which is the facade of what has been created. And I was living in it, you know, and so that all died, right? It, it kind of flattened the the playing field, the foundation of what that was, and for for me to start building a new one, but it was maneuvering through that, which is not always easy for somebody because they may feel like they're going crazy, but I was able to, to stay steady within that and just, and whether that was because of my past lives, but I was able to maneuver through that and have the understanding, just be the observer and the guidance that came while I was going through this. So I was able to 
you know, maneuver through it. But I had gotten to the point where everything was so empty that it became like this darkness within me and it felt like this light went out. And so I started and I, and then I started feeling like this separation from myself. It was almost like I was going in very slow motion, like, like part of myself, like whenever I would move, it was like in this dimension reality, like everything was just moving very slowly. And it was like multiple, multiple realities that was moving along with me in these different dimensions. And it was just really an, an interesting experience to say. It's hard to explain these. You really have to have it and understand what I'm trying to explain here. But it was the breaking down of the ego, the separation of it. And it was like I came to the point where literally um, I was looking at myself and I, and, I, and I heard this voice say, I don't like myself. And I was like, who's, say, who's saying this stuff? And it brought up this awareness, like, who, who doesn't like myself, right? And that was part of it. And it kind of reminds me of uh, when later on in, in years when I finally heard of Eckhart Tolle, and he had said, I can't live with myself, right? And so very same thing, but mine came up as I don't like myself, right? And so as the awakening happened and then that shift and then I had um, surrendered my life to source because like at the point I was like I was so empty and separate from who I was my divine connection that I didn't even realize or even think that there would be one or you know any of this that I am on the journey with now which has brought me back to myself which is the path and that's why of the collective which brought me back to the path of who I truly am and so it, the collective, I give you thanks, you know, for taking me on those journeys who I thought I was, but I wasn't, I'm not. Um, and so that's hard to understand, but when you get there, you will. Um, but anyway, it's the belief in who you are that you're not, <laughs> that you're that you're being in the present moments. Um, you're of all the other stuff that you think is, but when you get there, you're not. Anyway, it's the dying of the the collectiveness within yourself, the understanding or belief of what you think it is and coming back to your true self, which is the divine. And so in that process, you know, I had come to the point where that voice came, you know, I don't, I don't like myself. And so what I ended up doing is breaking down and it was deep. It was like what, what, what people would probably call the dark night of the soul. And that actually led me to my death experience going back home and having a life review and that experience there with that. And because at that point I was, I really didn't understand or know anything. It was like everything that I thought I knew I didn't know. And it was the end of that era or time of who I was at that being, it was coming to an end. And so letting go of it, I surrendered everything to Source. And I, I said, I was like, Look, I, I don't, in the, in the deepest sobbing sorrow of my, of my entire life, just crying and wailing uh, internally and tears flowing, you know, externally and like this darkness, this light went out and the separation happening. Like I felt like I was like tearing away from this. It was like this separation that was actually physically happening and manifesting on that level. Um, and, and I just said, you know, I didn't have the beliefs of having like God or, you know, I wasn't of any faith or religion or anything like that. And it's not that you need to be because it's your divine connection, not some belief system. And so I surrendered myself to source, right? It's like, you know, I don't, I don't know if you exist or what, you know, what's happening or, you know, and I just, you know, I was like, I, and I just said, you know, if this was what life is, then I don't want it. You can have it back. And I was like, here. And then I went into like a full breakdown. Right? <laughs> and I just uh, laid there and I just collapsed over exhaustion. And leaving my body, I went home and had the, the death experience where I went home. And I'll do that in a different video. But like I had 
gone to the other side and I had a life review and then had chosen to come back and wake up in, into this body and I'll, I'll do a video on that. But it is the breakdown of the transition uh, from my experience and what's when I had finally heard of Eckhart Tolle listening to his story kind of made sense. It brought it into um, understanding for me what was happening because during this whole thing, I didn't seek out help, right? I just followed what was going on and I didn't once feel the need to go and get help from somebody. And so I ended up maneuvering through it, following guidance and understanding it and trusting in source, not myself, after surrendering my faults life that I believed in, you know, of all that, um, and then having the awakening. So it's it's a transition from like your human concept going out of um, that into your awakening into truly who you are, divinely connected, and then starting to go on that path of learning who you are. And, and I look at it like, you know, how like your butterfly comes out of the cocoon, it's breaking free of that. That's what I kind of relate it to, or um, you know, the flower budding out of out of the bud, right? There's this breaking away of the constructs of it to become the flower or the butterfly, and that's what I had gone through. I went through the transition in this lifetime of awakening, um, and so it was from the whole false religion, uh, you know, of like the belief system into the awakening perception, but. These are the things that I've experienced as I was going through it. And so it's, it's like the becoming the observer, you know, and having everything become empty. And then, you know, as I mentioned, you know, hearing the, the ego voice, you know, and that was really interesting that the ego was saying, because I like a good story, right? The story, the ego, the story, and that all makes sense. Once I went into the counseling, and I learned about different things like that, that the ego, you know, is the story of your life. And that was the story of my life, right? And so having the now knowing is so freeing and liberating from having and living in the human concept and the framework of the ego, right? So being free of the ego that was dying off, right? And everything that I did was based on what I believed and what the ego was creating in this form right and so that kind of died off and took me into like the like the um dark night of the soul where the light went out and i can feel the, the separation of that happening manifesting on different levels it was physical but it was energetic and yet if you ever see those videos where it's like you're leaving the body it, it's kind of, it was kind of like that you have like the different dimensional realities that are shifting in, in it and it was just shifting it was really interesting to experience and that was over it wasn't like an, an instant thing because the falling away of all these things just kept hitting me and hitting me and hitting me like like a hammer bam 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 <laughs> you know it was just all dying off at different times it didn't all happen at once it was just like one after another that just hit me hard and just was like no you're going to get this. You're going to get this this time. It just kept hitting me. And then finally I was like, okay, I'm surrendering. I'm done. <laughs> you know, and that's why I surrendered my life to source. And that's the other thing I want to talk about is, you know, and a lot of people think, oh, well, you need to surrender yourself to Jesus, right? Well, what is Jesus going to do? Nothing, because Jesus isn't a savior, right? Um, Jesus isn't here to save you. Uh, this is you, your direct connection to source. And I didn't surrender myself to Jesus, I surrender myself straight to source. And that is how you do it. You don't need somebody to go through because it's not going to happen. Right. And but they put this falsehood um, in there for you to believe in as your your backup plan, which we call it um, plan B, you know, and so when you do that, or you're waiting on somebody to save you, or you're surrendering yourself to it, you're surrendering yourself to a false illusion, not the true source, right? The only thing you can surrender yourself to is source because that's the creation of who you are. They cre source created you. Jesus didn't. So why would you surrender yourself to, to Jesus? Right? So these are some things to kind of think about, you know. And so when you're going through hard times, the dark night of the soul and stuff, go straight to source. Don't, don't go to any middleman. Don't go any 
practitioner that tells you something else and other than who you truly are because that's a falsehood you know that's just going to put you back in in it and surrender yourself to something that's not true and so when I did that that was like the best thing to do I didn't go to anybody or anyone else and I didn't trust in anybody else because I, I couldn't I couldn't I had this feeling like I couldn't trust in anybody don't trust in anybody don't go to anybody don't trust any and that's why I didn't go anybody right and I, it helped me to stay it was like this remembrance that was coming up don't trust in anybody I didn't feel like I could trust talking to anybody about it or anything like that and so that's what kept me on track. And so a lot of people will run to, like, you know, believe, oh, they're possessed and, you know, going to Jesus and so. And, and that's not it, <laughs> you know. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, no, no, but that's your religion. That's your belief system. And that's okay. That's just going to keep you in the construct. So when you're able to just break free, you know, and go straight to, directly to source and not some kind of savior, then you're freeing yourself. You're not limitation. You're not in limitation, right? And so that's expansion of your reality, your belief systems. And so that's you know um, you're not taking anything on. You're you're just allowing yourself to be, right? When you're taking on something outside of yourself, you know you, that's more stuff that you're putting when your body and you're trying to wake up. Your soul's trying to wake you up. You know you're trying. You're you're supposed to be coming back to source. And you're allowing other things to outside of you to affect you and come back within yourself, right? And so, anyway, that's the expansion of, of source there and that liberation and that's that way that that happens. And so bring that to the forefront. Just allow yourself to take source in your oneness and just be present with yourself, if that makes sense. And so that is what I wanted to share with you in this video. And if you have any um questions on that drop them below like share and subscribe also you can send me an email that is also going to be below as well if you're going through your transition and you have any questions or anything like that i might be able to help you with uh, i do coaching sessions helping people to maneuver through that as well as anything else that has to do with expansion of consciousness and awareness and and waking up um, so reach out to me we can set up a time to do a session and be able to help you with that. And I'm here to share my story, not because I'm trying to, you know, be more than anybody else, but to to let you know that, you know, you're not alone. You're not the only one going through these things. And you're not, um, you know, there there is a way and a path to get there. And so there are other people who have gone through it. And so they're able to share their story with you so that they can help, right? Um, so yep, definitely reach out, like, sub subscribe, and share. I'll be sharing more of my journey, my awakening experience on the other side, and then the angel experience as well. Happy journeys.